excited to follow up on your really interesting opening uh, insights. We really would like to know what the landscape looks like here in Fiji for medical health. Um, what's the availability like for women here? What do you want to see in terms of development uh, when it comes to that availability of the products that we can purchase? Okay, well, Kate, okay. Fiji is um, definitely on a third world scale um, finance. And even from the countries when I've visited other countries, I look into sanitary pad items and the products that they have here on the shelves, Kate, are sadly of a really entry-level cost price. It, it's allowing the girls to have affordability with their pads, but there's a bigger thing in poverty, in period poverty, and it's also um, education. There's very little education on menstruation. Um, and giving them that education gives them an opportunity to have a choice. Mm and there's limited choice. That's why Earth Sisters um, has in really started to make a um, inroads in education and availability for an option, being reusable pads. Every individual pad that we make here in Fiji, it minus the 60 plastic pads going into the environment. So it's, uh, it's all about education. It's, we have to shift the diameter, it shifts the radar from single-use pads to reusables and the people that are, the young kids that are wearing single use now, mothers also use single use. We're into second generation of single use mindset and we need to change the mindset but we can't do that without slowly, slowly education. And so I have started to write, I have a workbook which are, we're planning to introduce to school age children age 10 to 11, 12 year old. Um, we've run some programs where we're talking about um, good eating habits, good nutrition habits when you are going through your cycle, as in your, your summer, winter, autumn and spring cycle. Um, so I'm, I'm very hopeful now we're talking a lot about sustainability, mm. that we can then start to increase people's mindset going, well, let's look at what is a plan B, what's the options? And I'm noticing corporates are looking at sustainability, so my, I'm very, prom very, very promising future. Most definitely, it's a really, really worthy thing to be working on. So, Thank hopefully, you. all of our listeners can put their support behind you.